So we're all aware of this news, right? Halo Studios. This is like going to be the studio name now for 343 Industries for making Halo games, which makes a lot of sense. Now, a lot of people are just kind of thinking this is just a strictly a rebranding, which it can obviously initial impressions. Yeah, that's what you think. But according to what we've seen previously, when it comes to leaks and information and calling ourselves Halo Studios, right? Plural with the S on there. I feel like this means it's going to be a completely revamping how Halo was made through Microsoft. And 343 has talked about, well, I should say Halo Studios has talked about this in the video of the uh, the new Dawn video that came out, right? Talking about how Infinite was the last time they do their old school way of making a Halo game, basically doing everything in house. We've seen previous leaks that it looks like things are gonna be branching out to other teams, other studios most, most likely. I mean, saying Halo Studios plural mean more than one studio. I'm sure many of us remember this little update saying that 343 will no longer make Halo games but will oversee outside development reports. Say, if you guys remember, we talked about this months ago at back in January of 23 is when we talked about this here on the channel. Bathro Spartan put out a relatively credible source of information saying that 343 is going to be much more of a management hub when it comes to developing Halo games moving forward rather than being a direct developer. And I mean, putting those two together would make a lot of sense, right? That we would see 343 be like the hub location, the kind of connective tissue between all these other studios or other outlets working on Halo games, right? Because one thing, we haven't heard anything different. I don't think we have a rule here, anything officially different when it comes to internally at Microsoft is the contract system, right? We've heard plenty of news about this when it comes to Halo Infinite development, that the development is struggles a lot because of well you know they have to rely so much on contract work to be able to make a halo game possible right and that 18 month limitation on the contracts is what really hurt infinite's development cycle so as someone who used to work as a contractor at microsoft i can tell you one way that 343 and microsoft watches well, say halo studios it, come on, it's been ingrained in my memory for last like 10 plus years to say 343 but halo studios one way i think that they can get around the whole contract issue one again working in unreal engine which is much more of a industry standard when it comes to developing games right but also if you have external studios as part of your team they can be listed as a managed service team meaning it's a contracted team that Microsoft hires to do work for them. This is what I did for them previously when I was part of the HoloLens team uh, back in like the early 20, well, the mid 2010s era. And that was, that was our one way we were able to get around the 18 month contract. So I'm thinking something about that report and that leaked information could be relatively credible as in calling it Halo Studios, right? Multiple studios. What's one way Microsoft can maintain a consistent working uh, employee base right that by doing the managed service style type of thing with these external studios say like search and affinity and skybox studios like they actually had uh interview with skybox at the most recent uh, halo world championships at which i was at which was a lot of fun uh, but we're seeing continued work with these external teams right and i think we will still see that get more pushed when it comes to how Halo is actually developed. But I do feel that with 343, they're still gonna be very much in the middle of the process when it comes to developing Halo games. What we're probably going to see is something like what we saw with Infinite towards like the second half of its lifespan, where it was much more of like 343 planning out ideas, maybe giving some tools and some basic things that other studios would need to then make something. So for example, like Skybox Studio has been in charge of like the let's we'll call it the lackluster force maps have been put into the game right <laughs> and so it's uh that's something that the 343 can definitely put into motion when it comes to developing halo games is kind of giving like the repetitive grunt work out to these external studios and probably something like the the overall vision heavy lifting kind of things we could see 343 be a part of because we still don't really know where that division line starts and ends when it comes to how 343 is going to develop games, right? Like they stated within this specific video right here that they're completely redoing how they're going to be uh, uh, making Halo games moving forward. Because we do know from reports from 
uh, developers and from multiple credible news sources, a big issue with Halo Infinite that they had all these different teams working together, but they're all kind of like in their own separate silos and they didn't really have much cross team communication. It was rather difficult for them to really make Halo. It was actually kind of, that's what was one thing that really slowed the entire process down. So having multiple studios kind of go off and do their own thing could possibly help out with the efficiency of that. I think also we, we've seen previously with uh, CD Projekt Red, right? They actually completely reworked how they do their development cycle with uh, Phantom Liberty, right? Where instead of having the entire studio having their own separate little type of de de uh, departments, right? Like you had an art team, um, you had a tech team, you had the lighting team, and then you had to go through this entire work cycle. And if one part breaks, it all goes back to the beginning, really slows things down. So what CD Projekt Red did is they actually created these smaller kind of like strike team type of models where it was a much smaller team that had the all parts you would need for developing a section of a game to then have just that team just kind of work together faster more efficient communication and better uh, teamwork as well to then be able to produce higher content at a faster rate again like this is where like management really needs to make sure that like everyone's on the same page roughly so it does require a completely new workflow of how to make a game but CD Projekt Red proved it that with Phantom Liberty, they, complete, they completely reworked their workflow and it ended up being phenomenal for them. Phantom Liberty was a massive hit. People loved it. It was a completely, uh, it just lifted Cyberpunk 2077 into a whole new realm where it's actually a incredibly popular update and people loved it. So this is what I'm thinking what we're gonna see right here when it comes to Halo moving forward is that we're gonna see these external teams kind of doing a lot of the heavy lifting like like i mentioned earlier with like skybox studios making like those forge maps that we're kind of dealing with i think that was my that might have been a little bit more of a kind of a test run to see how that process would work with these forge maps right so it might not even been just the content itself but more of just like the a process of making that actually a thing that can be done uh because like you see right here if we go over to this like, like certain affinities website right we click on this right here you can see that they've been with Halo for the longest time. In fact, even back with the Halo 2 Blastacular map pack, Max Hooper kind of broke off from Bungie and made Certain Infinity. Certain Infinity was involved with the development of the leaked and rumored uh, Tatanka mode, which never came to be. You never know, it could come peek its head back up, but you can see like they've had a very long history with 343, now Halo Studios, making a lot of the multiplayer maps out there. Like Certain Infinity, it, like, basically created the Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer experience uh, as well. So they're definitely familiar with comes to like doing some serious heavy lifting when it comes to making content. And you can see over here with Skybox as well that they have a long history with 343 as well. Their website isn't necessarily, necessarily as well built out, but uh, you can kind of click on the games and kind of see like generally roughly what they've been working with. Again, it's not exactly uh, fully built out like, you know, certain Infinity's website. But this is where I think we're going to see actually a great opportunity with three fourth with Halo Studios to then make uh, studios where like continuously working together as a managed service team. So then you're not having that huge turnover that three four three had to deal with. I'm sorry, I keep saying three four three. My bad. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, that there was a huge turnover, right? Every 18 months, you had to kick out somebody and put somebody else new in with a proprietary engine that was difficult to work in, reported on multiple times. And I've heard from direct sources of people, developers who worked at 343 saying, yeah, the engine was the biggest pain point when it came to making Halo. And every time you had to switch out a new contractor, that knowledge, that ramp up, it just restarts all over again. It was a pain and slowed things down horribly. When this is probably where we will see 343 be much more of a management style team rather than a direct developer. But I do think we will see them be involved when it comes to making content at 343. Again, we don't know exactly where that line starts and ends when it comes to uh, what does 343 do, what do these external studios do, and things like that. But it sounds like it's going to be a much more uh, collaborative effort, which is great to hear because that's another pain point we've heard consistently at 343 like i mentioned earlier the collaboration between teams was so non-existent that you know the left hand wasn't talking to the right hand i was talking to a developer friend of mine who worked on some of the uh, campaign missions over at 343 
and he was telling me how like uh, you know that the, the, he was designing this level out he was like oh yeah they'll go through this whole section they'll map it all out it's gonna be great and then come to find out there's a grapple hook in the game that completely neg negates his entire level design and they don't that's exactly what i'm talking about saying the left hand doesn't talk to the right hand when developing for halo infinite which is such an odd thing to have happen but that's what how things were working over there man and so, and I think it was just like, everyone's just trying to get as much as they can done for the game. So maybe that lack of communication is a side effect of just having to, you know, not necessarily crunch because we've heard multiple reports where there is no crunch at, three, four, at Halo Studios, formerly 343. Uh, but, you know, people are passionate. They want to try to put as much of their work as they can into the game because everyone checks out Halo, right? Everyone knows about Halo. People get excited about it. They're super passionate about it. We've lost a ton of crazy passionate talented developers to the contract system at Microsoft where 18 months on six months off and hopefully your job might be available uh, six months later then, which is highly unlikely uh, and so I think this is what the rebrand really does mean for this company right it's more of a collaborative effort across multiple teams multiple studios that it's not going to be just the internal team formerly 343 doing everything right i think they're going to be still the main point of contact when it comes to vision design uh creative director stuff and things like that uh but maybe yeah, like i said handing off some of the grunt work or maybe some of like the work that like doesn't necessarily need to be done by 343 but something a little bit more like i said the repetitive stuff or maybe like an artwork that like already has been mapped out people just need to do it then you hand that off to external studios to just do the work, right? And you have everything else laid out for them. Just They just need to paint by numbers, if you know what I mean. So I think this is what like the big thing when it comes to the rebranding of Halo Studios really does mean. As someone who formerly worked at Microsoft as a contractor, part of a managed service team, it was the way to work around the contract system. And we definitely took advantage of that when I was part of that uh, HoloLens team back in like 2014 to 16, that that era. And if you guys made it this far in the video, I greatly appreciate it. Leave a green heart in the comments. Let me know who the real ones are out there. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.